LDOT crews are in the process of fixing lights on the Bayway. Last month, we reported a large stretch of them were out during very dangerous foggy weather. Local 15's Andrea Ramey joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Andrea, crews are literally checking every light right now. Yeah, that's right, Greg. They, in essence, put a Band-Aid on the problem last month just to get some of the lights back up and running, but are now going through the tedious process of checking some 300 lights. We showed you how dark the Bayway was last month just as dense fog hit the area. A two-mile stretch of lights was out. It's like stripes on the zebra. You go from an area that's well lit to an area that's dark and then back to the lit. And what it causes is problems with the driver's eyes. But now, even though most of the lights are working, that doesn't mean there's no work for LDOT crews. We've had crews going from light to light looking at what's causing the lights to be out. And they're finding the main culprit. After years of being exposed to the weather and salt water, this is the condition of the power source to many of these lights. Now you can see why there have been so many issues. It doesn't look very safe. No, no, it's not. Corroded wiring, bad bulbs, and ballasts are unfortunately common with this 40 year old system. And now, light by light, those issues are being addressed. It's a constant nightmare to, to maintain them. When I can fix everything today and then come back Monday and I will have lights out again to go back and repair. So it's constant tax on our resources. A crews have been working in the eastbound lane the past two nights. They should start on the westbound lane tonight and finish up by the end of the week. ALDOT did not immediately have a dollar amount for this project. The main expense, ALDOT says, is having crews work on this instead of other projects. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News.